So Mr. Satya, have you understood these three identities? Yes. Just see the first identity is you need to cram these a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus two ab. You can write it like this, or you can write it like this also. Both of these are okay. Whatever your teacher says. So you can follow either of these. The second is a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus two ab. So you need to cram these results. Cram these results. Mr. Sarth, can you doubt? No, sir. And the third identity is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So can you doubt about this? No, no, sir. See. Usually, uh, what we do is once we have uh, these identities, then we start doing sums like these: three x plus two y whole square is equal to, then three x minus two y whole square is equal to, and then three x plus two y into three x minus two y. So usually, this is how they are done. But uh, to make the things easier, what I suggest is that we try to do questions like these. So, for example, if I have to calculate twelve square. Using this identity, then I can write twelve as ten plus two ka whole square. So there any doubt? No, no sir. Of course, you can do twelve square, twelve into twelve. You can multiply that two, and then you can arrive at this question. The answer is one forty four. But what I want you to learn is that how twelve can be written as ten plus two whole square, and then you can apply the identity to find this kind of same answer. So Arthak, have you understood? Yes. So, for example, hundred one zero one whole square can be written as hundred plus one ka square. So, have you understood? Yes. Sir. Now I know that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus two ab plus b square. So, in this identity, hundred becomes my hundred becomes my a, and one becomes my b. So, a is hundred, and b is one. So, what I'll do is. Hundred square plus twice of a into b plus one square. Any doubt till here? No doubt. Mr. Sarth, any doubt? No. So hundred square you would have written as one, two, three, four plus two hundred plus one, and this will be equal to one zero two zero one. This would be the final answer. Any doubt? No doubt. Sir, did you get this answer? One zero two zero one. Yes. Sir. Mr. Sarth, did you get this answer? Yes. So similarly, if I have five zero two whole square, I can write it write it as five hundred plus two square. Now in this case, my a and b a and b would be my a and b would be a would be five hundred. And b would be two. Therefore, five hundred plus two whole square would be equal to five hundred square plus two square plus twice of five hundred into two. This would be equal to twenty-five. One, two, three, four, plus four, plus two to the four into five, two thousand. Any doubt earlier? No doubt. So I will write two thousand here. And the answer would be twenty-five, twenty-five two zero zero four. This would be the final answer. Have you guys got this answer? Yes. Yes. Now, this is how we use uh, this identity of a plus b whole square. Then the second identity that we have is a minus b whole square. The second identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus two ab. Any doubt about this? No doubt. So, for example, if I have ninety-seven square, I can write this as hundred minus three square. Any doubt? No doubt. So, are there any doubt? Uh, I did it in a different way. Okay. I did the plus uh, method. So, so how wrote, did you do this? How did you do this? I wrote ninety plus seven square. Okay, ninety plus seven square. You will receive the same answer. So, if I follow this hundred minus three square, happy. So, if I follow. A minus b square, this would be a square minus two ab plus b square. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No doubt. If I write this as hundred minus three square, my a would be hundred, b would be three. 
सो दिस वुड बी हंड्रेड स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वाइस ऑफ हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू वन जीरो जीरो प्लस नाइन विच इज इक्वल टू वन जीरो 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 नाइन एंड देन आई हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस दिस वुड बी माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड सो माई फाइनल आंसर वुड बी नाइन्टी फोर जीरो नाइन सर तो हैवी वर्ड दिस आंसर यस सर सर तक हैवी वर्ड दिस आंसर यस सर बेसिकली वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू प्रैक्टिस द एलजेबरिक आइडेंटिटीज यूजली वी यूज दीज टू सॉल्व द एलजेबरिक एक्सप्रेशन बट just to make things easier i am taking numbers i am taking numbers so that you don't face any difficulty when you go on to solve the algebraic identities okay let me do this question now if i have to multiply 991 multiply by 1009 my life becomes easier if i write this as 1000 minus 9 into 1000 plus 9 Why does my life becomes easier? Because then I can write this as a plus b into a minus b would be equal to a square minus b square. So this would be thousand square minus nine square. This would be six zeros minus eighty one. This would be ten one nine nine eight one nine 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 nine. So this would be the final answer. Any doubt? No. Mr. Sir, have you got the same answer? Yes. So th this is how the, these questions are done. If you want to do, uh, let us do. Maybe let us do this question seventh. So here also, this can be written as hundred square minus nine because nine is three square. Uh, let me write this as three square. So this would be one, two, three, four minus nine. So this would be nine nine eight one. This would be the nine 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 one. I'm sorry. Have you guys got the same answer? Yes. Yes. Mr. Satya. Okay. So now, what I'll suggest is now that you have understood what are a plus b whole square and. Uh, A minus B whole square. I'm writing few algebraic expressions. Try to solve them. So, just try to solve these simple algebraic expressions. Satya, you know how to solve these now? Have you understood? Yes, sir. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No, sir. Try to solve these. Of course, we will discuss. Don't worry. But at least try. Yeah, you can start. First, see what I'll suggest is whenever you start these kind of questions, what you need to identify first is what is my a and what is my b. So, for example, in the first question, your a is two x, your b is y, and then you need to use the formula. In this question, your a is two x, and your b is three y. Once you have identified your a and b. Only then start applying these uh, identities. So, Tay, have you understood what I have said? Yes. So, first identify your A and B. Only then start the question. Okay, you can start. So, for example, in this question, my A is two x, my B is y. Now the identity that I'll be applying is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus two ab. Now a is two x, so two x square plus y square, y square plus twice of a into b. So have you understood what I've done? Yes. So two x square would be equal to four x square. Four x square. This would be y square. Two into two would be four. X into y would be x y. Sir, have you understood now? Yes, sir. Sir, there any doubt? No, sir. Okay, you can start. So, is there any doubt in first question, Sir? Yeah. 
नोड़ा ओके सो वेन एवर यू आर डूइंग दीज एक्सपेंशंस प्लीज ऑलवेज राइट योर ए एंड बी फर्स्ट एनी डाउट ऑलवेज राइट ए एंड बी एंड ओनली देन स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन माई ए इज टू एक्स एंड माई बी इज वाई सार्थक एव यू अंडरस्टैंड See your b is not minus y but your b is y because you are applying this formula that a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab so a square would be 2x square your b is y minus twice of a into b so this would be equal to 4x square plus y square minus 4xy so that is your answer correct Yes, sir. Mr. Sarthak, is it uh, is it okay? Is your answer correct? Uh, yes, sir. Any confusion? No, sir. Mr. Sarthak, any confusion? No, sir. So, in the third question, again I'll identify my A and B first. Now my A is two x, and my B. Is y. So, have you understood? Yes, sir. Now, when I look at this identity, the identity that I can use is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So, this would be equal to a square minus b square. So, it would be two x square minus y square would be equal to four x square minus y square. Mr. Sarthak, Mr. Satya, any doubt? No doubt. Sir. No. Again and again, you have to write your A and B first. Only then start the question. Otherwise, you will make lot of mistakes. So A is two x, B is three y. I'll be applying the first identity. A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus two AB. This would be equal to two x square plus three y square. Plus twice of two x into three y. This would be four x square plus nine y square plus two to the four four three the twelve into x y. Mr. Satya, Mr. Sarthak, are your answers correct? Yes. Great. Let's move to the fifth question. So basically, in all these questions, what you need to identify is which. Which identity should I apply? This one, this one, or this one? Once you have done that, then please write your A and B. So in this question, my A would be two x. My B would be three y. Please remember your B is three y. This is not minus three y. Don't make that mistake. So the identity that I'll be using is A minus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square minus two AB. So this is the identity that I'll be applying here. So this will be equal to. 2x square plus 3y square minus 2 into 2x into 3y. This would be equal to 4x square plus 9y square minus 2 to the 4 4 to the 12 minus 12xy. Any doubt? Yes. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No doubt. Mr. Satya, is your answer correct? Yes. Okay. Great. Let's move to the sixth identity. Sixth question. So, my A is two x. My B is three y. I will be using A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. This is the identity that I'll be using. Before I start the question, I'll be. I have mentioned my a and b. Now I can start the question. So this will be a square minus b square. My a is two x. So two x square minus b square, three y square. This would be equal to four x square minus nine. I'm sorry, nine y square. Mr. Satya, Mr. Sarthak, is your answer correct? Yes. 
Mr. Sartak, is your answer correct? No, no, sir. Actually, I did it uh, in a different way. Uh, I actually combined both the uh, earlier properties. Okay. But Have now, I've... have you understood or not? Yes. See, for these questions, you'll have to do a lot of practice questions. Now, I'll write few practice questions that you can do. These are simple questions. So, it will be good that if you can practice this on this weekend. So, when we meet on uh, Monday, we can start from these questions. Can you write down the questions? Yes. So, 3x plus 5y whole square. 3x minus 5y whole square. 3x plus 5y into 3x minus 5y. Uh, 2x plus 5y whole square. 2x minus 5y whole square. 2x plus 5y into 2x minus 5y. Mm. Let us say. 3x plus uh, 2y whole square. These are simple questions, just for practice sake. They are not very complicated. 3x minus 2y whole square. 3x plus 2y into 3x minus 2y. And uh, 5x plus 3y into 5x minus 3y. Minus x plus 2y square minus x minus 3y square so I have given you a mix of simple and bit complex questions g h i j k l m can be uh, 2y minus 2y minus uh, 3x upon 2 I think that is enough okay so Mr. Satya would you be able to do these by Monday yes sir. Mr. Sardak yes so I'll send you a scan of this also uh, let's discuss these on Monday yeah Okay.